let's take a look at class detection and novice work. So there's a really interesting, fun thing that you can do using class detection and animations. What we're going to do is just going to create a little simulation here. So let's say, for example, we needed to move this piece of equipment that you see here and replace it with something new. So as we kind of walk around uh, this piece of equipment, you can see it's a pretty tight space there. There is some permanently fixed structure on this side. If we look around, we can see there's a fairly open space through the facility this way. But as you can see over here, there is uh, quite a bit of stuff in the way. So we've got some a crane here, it looks like a, a hoist that could be fixed. This looks like it might be bolted down. We've got some storage equipment, some maintenance equipment all in the way here. So, and the other thing we've got is we've got some cage ladders. Those could be in the way as well. Some of this equipment could be in the way when we, when we bring this around. So what we want to do is simulate this equipment move. So I'm just going to put us right back here. And I'll show you what I've done just to, to, to give you some examples. So I have removed uh, the, the section of the points with the existing machine. And what you can do is if you are working with our scene software, for example, you can create a mesh from the machine, um, which gives you something that's a little you know, more realistic in order to be able to animate that you know, being pulled out and, and pulled through the, the plant. Or, I just created a volume. Sometimes a volume's nice. Just make sure you get a volume that covers the, you know, the full maximum size of the equipment. And then we can just clash that volume against the points. So we're going to work on it with the, with, the, with the DWG file here, which is just a straight rectangle, extruded rectangle here. So let's take a look at the animation. First thing I did was I created an animation. I'm going to open up our animator here. And you can see I've called this animation uh, replacement. So this is just using the standard Navisworks animation tool. And if we look at this, we can see that I've just created viewpoints and animated how I think the best way to get this piece of equipment out and to do it with the least amount of clashes. So you can see it's hitting the cage ladder, it's hitting this hoist that we that we see here, it's hitting all those people who are having a tailgate meeting at the end of the at the end of the hall the aisle there, and all of this equipment that's just sort of hanging around. So what we want to do is find out everywhere that this clash is. So if we've got um, debris here, if we've got equipment we can move, we can, you know, find that clash and, and assign that to somebody who's then responsible to make sure that this aisle is clear. If the cage ladder hits, we might need somebody to temporarily remove the cage ladder during the, the equipment move. So this is just for us to wait to see exactly what we have to do in order to clear the path for this new equipment. So I'm going to go back to our equipment view. I'm going to reset our animation. And now we're going to activate the class detective. So what we want to do is clash the geometry against the point cloud. So to do this, we're going to add a test. I'm going to call this my equipment move. We'll call this our preliminary equipment move. So what we want to do is under our selection, we want to choose the recap file and make sure down here that you're choosing points, not geometry. And we're going to clash the recap file against the equipment drawing, so the volume of the machine, and make sure that you're using surfaces for this one. So what we want to do is make sure, because we're working with point clouds, your best thing is to use clearance, because we want to make sure that you know any points that interfere with that surface, we can see them. So we're interested in clearance, not actual hard clash and make the tolerance around you know, a millimeter or, or thereabouts. You can play a little bit with that to get what you feel is best for you. But for me, with this one, it's fine. That's a pretty decent point spacing. Now, the trick to this is under this link part, if I click on the link, you'll see that the, repl the replacement animation is available for me to select. So 
So I'm going to choose the replacement animation and we're going to clash everywhere that this piece of equipment hits the points along the path of the animation. So you can choose the, the increments. So I'm going to choose just a half a second. And again, this is just up to you based on, on the project parameters. And I'm going to run the clash test here. So here you can see we found 78 clashes. So I'm going to just look at the display settings here. So if we look around, we can see there's somebody under there. So that's clashing with there's a, a person there that needs to be moved. And as we go through, we can visually just see all of those clashes. Just pick a few there. And also for context, so using the highlighting system, we can highlight all the clashes. And we're saying hide anything that's not part of this clash. If we click that off and say dim, so we can, we're, we're dimmed all the points that are not being clashed and highlighted all the ones that are being clashed. And if you change again the color, the orange points are the ones that are going to clash with that piece of equipment. So you can see there's, you know, a little bit on the, the, the cage ladder here. So it lets you just kind of view a little bit better as to, as to you know where your clashes are occurring. So I'm just going to put all of the clashes back on again here, and I'm going to run my animation again. And you can see as we are kind of running through this, you can see all the points that might need to be adjusted order to make that clearance. Once you have your report, you can just write that report. I'm going to use that current test to HTML and we're going to create that equipment move HTML and it's going to capture all those points. Now of course if I had wanted to assign these certainly can assign them to somebody to clean the clean you know the, the bucket out the way or, or any of the the mess or the, 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 the junk that was lying around there or you might have to assign a different person to come in and remove the cage ladder a maintenance crew so you can run uh, just the typical assignments that you would do with a regular Navisworks flash report so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to our Navisworks page here and I'm going to go back to our equipment view again. So now I'm going to switch out the point clouds. So now I'm going to take out this clash recap file. We're going to hide this one and this time I've just gone through in my scene software and cleaned it up. So I've deleted all the junk that you see here. So ideally, this would be considered, you know, you would clean this all up and then go out and rescan again. So this is just simulating that rescan once the area is being cleaned up. And of course, we can run the clash detection again. So I'm going to add a new test. And we're going to choose the clash cleaned up this time. Again, we've got the points and we're going to run it against the DWG and we're going to choose our, our replacement animation again and we're going to rerun the test. So this time we only have seven clashes so now we can look to see exactly where that would be and if it's something that we can avoid. So we can see this is just clashing with the platform that's below the machine. So that one's fine. We can just go ahead and say that one has been approved. And down here, we're still clashing a little bit. And again, it's part of the original machine. It's just something that's underneath here. So 
then we can go ahead and approve this one or we can ask it to be reviewed. It's active. And you can see all of these clashes are still around the same area. Let's hide the others where we can see that this is just clashing with whatever's on the ground around that machine. So the, the rest of the area is pretty clean. There might be something there we can, we can look at. Something there that's still in the way. And of course, this allows you to kind of get some context to see what that is. And it's a machine beside it. So just a really simple way to be able to look at the points and help you do some logistics and some equipment move planning. So I'm going to run the report for this one too. I'm going to write the report. I'm going to call this one cleaned up. And here's our equipment move cleaned up. So we're seeing a total of seven clashes. And they're all sort of clashing with the same area, which is the, the machine beside it. And if we look at the first one, we're able to see the 78 clashes and we're able to see that areas that are clashing as that piece of equipment is moved through the facility. So hopefully that's given you an idea of uh, you know just some of the things that we can do with the point clouds and now this work.